Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. And I don't have anything clever to add. The St. Bernardus Christmas Ale is a strong Belgian ale. Comes in at 9.8% ABV. And this one goes out to Evan. Um, I bought this beer before Evan told me it was his favorite Christmas beer. But uh, here's to you, Evan. Hmm. It smells strong, that's for sure. Really strong maltiness, some spices. Um, more of the like nutmeg and cloves, less of the cinnamon. But it does smell along the lines of the other Belgian holiday beers that I've tried this year. The um, Delirium Noel. Uh, maybe not much in common with the uh, <laughs> the 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 other bottle I had. I can't remember the name of the one that I really. Oh, everything nice. Not really along the lines of everything I, nice. I mean, a similar like strong, thick maltiness. There is a distinct character to strong Belgian malts. Um, or strong Belgian malty beers. The, the, the smell is recognizably familial. It, the, they, they definitely belong to the same, the same family of beers, that's for sure. Um, and I'm not sure if that's the, the types of grains they use. I'm assuming these are probably mostly barley, if not 100% barley beers. Um, or if it is the, the water, or both, or the yeast, or all three, or... The, but there is something, there's a family resemblance to these beers. So it's not that if you've had one, you've had all of them. But it, I mean, in the craft of strong Belgian beers, it is one of the great historic beer families. Like strong Belgian beers are something special. They have been for a long time. And if you've had one, you know how special they are, but you haven't had all of them. So keep trying them, you know, as long as you're able to. There are a lot of very good um, analogs, uh, copycats of strong Belgian beers, both from local breweries and from other breweries internationally. Um, and a lot of them are really good. If, in my experience, if a beer calls itself a Belgian style strong ale, and is not from a Belgian brewery, it's probably still worth trying, just in my experience. Your, your experience may differ. Mine is that, in general, if the brewery has the chutzpah to put this, the Belgian-style strong ale on the label, they've probably taken a lot of time to get that recipe right. Because they'll be rightfully criticized if they put that label on and it ain't any good. Anyways, all that to say, this is an actual Belgian strong ale, and it very much smells in that family. Uh, possibly dark bread. Maybe some sugar cookie? And there's a, a an earthiness, a, a root going on in there, almost... I mean, it's, it's making me think of, like, root beer, almost. Not for that syrupy medicinal sweetness but um uh maybe it's the medicinal part i'm not sure it's uh, how would you describe but there's a there's something in there that brings to mind root beer anyways let's uh see how it tastes hmm. oh oh um okay plums prunes, um, maybe some dates. Uh, while with the delirium, there was a lot, I think there was more of an apple juice, if I'm remembering correctly. This is like plum juice. So thicker, deeper, darker. Um, this beer is both juicy and dark, both at the same time. Maybe some figs. There isn't much 
there isn't the same tinniness that I found in the Delirium in this. And I wondered about that being that this is a can. Uh, being that, you know, you, you can get the St. Bernardus in glass bottles pretty easily. I've seen that several places. But I thought a can might travel easier, travel lighter, and also all the light is completely blocked, which is the biggest enemy of beer. So for any can that's shipped or any beer that shipped, I would think a can would probably be able to hold up pretty well. Um, also, cans linings being what they are, you're not getting an increased leaching of tin into the beer. You're not getting that. So that's, you shouldn't have a higher chance of a tinny or, or turned beer from a can, even if it's traveled worldwide. And being so much lighter, it's going to be far cheaper to ship um, a canned beer because so much less of the weight is involved in the packaging. Also, cans can handle being jostled and bumped a little more than some glass bottles can. Um, anyways, all that to say, there's no none of that tinniness that I picked up in the Delirium Noel in this um, St. Bernardus. So, that's good. Yay. This tastes really special. Uh, it is not quite like any other Christmas beer that I've had this year. It's rich. It's decadent. It feels like a like a fruitcake almost. And if you're not a fan of fruitcake, I'm sorry, your loss. I love my fruitcake. Going back to grandpa buying us Collins Street Bakery fruitcakes from, um, he, he lived in Texas. And for, I don't know, probably from my young teens, I would, oh, I watch things I've just drunk enough water. I didn't tell it I drank any water. Um, I guess it just synchronized. <laughs> um, he lived in Texas, and he would ship us, he would ship all of his kids uh, Collins Street Bakery fruitcakes Christmas time, and I love those things. Collins Street Bakery fruitcakes are expensive, and so more recently, my wife and I have been, <coughs> excuse me, purchasing um, uh, from a, a Benedictine monastery? I can't remember. Um, in Oregon. Uh, fruitcakes on Amazon, and they're far less, they're, well, not far less expensive. They're several significant percentage points less expensive, but, um, and pretty good, pretty darn good. Not quite Collins Street Bakery, but not too far off either. But this super, you know, rich, dark, um, you know, brandy and, and spiced bread and dried fruits and stuff like that. That level of like deep, rich decadence. That's what I'm getting with this. And frankly, I think this would go really, really well with a cheese platter. Um, with with those super strong, slightly, uh, you know, slightly tart uh, flavors of a of a strong fruit platter. Um, yeah, that's this is a good beer. <laughs> Evan, I can I can see why this is your holiday favorite. Uh, it is a good choice. Um, anyways, this is Matthew. I've been true in the brew, enjoying St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. I highly recommend this. If you can find it and you like your strong, flavorful, decadent beers for that celebration for Christmas, for New Year's, this ain't a bad one to have on the shelf. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'm chewing the brew and I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>